going to film the main drag through Beaver, Utah, and I won't be talking a whole lot in it, but we will be going down what does become Main Street, and then we'll come back the other way, and you can see what it's like here in Beaver, Utah. starting on the south end of town, heading north. And as you come into town, lots of green fields with cows. speed limit coming into town is 40 miles an hour. It drops down to 30 miles an hour as soon as you get into town. So watch that if you're in town. Off to the left here was a motel that part of it burned down and it's just kind of sitting for sale. Has been for decades or more. As you come into here right <clears throat> right here is the road that uh, comes into Beaver, and uh, actually the town part. Off to the left is Beaver Nursery, a very famous and very large nursery that supplies plants to the whole region area. Off to the right here is the Fish Lake Ranger Station for the Forest Service. To the right, this espresso shop, if you're into the coffee scene, that's a pretty good place to get some coffee. Gas stations, of course, <clears throat> in town. The main ones are out on the edge of town, and they're where you're going to be most likely to find good food to go with them in town. It's usually just, you know, snacks, soda. So as you come into town, you got the National Guard right there. <clears throat> Post office off to the left. And then this is the main, main drag of Beaver. It's really small. You got Nap off to the right. And just a couple of small businesses, really. Uh, not a lot. And some of these I'll talk about on the way back from the other direction, but the drive in there is pretty good. Um, just city buildings, church house. This is the only grocery store off to the right, Mike's. Off to the left is the old elementary school that the city now uses for their city offices. And basically we're uh, getting about done, but we'll go all the way down so you can see where it all goes. There is a new True Value uh, hardware store that was just opened up off to the right, it's off the road far enough you won't be able to see it right here behind the bank. And, uh, you know, a few repair shops. And we're on the other end of town. And as we come down around the bend, we'll, you'll see that there's a... Uh, it turns down and you can go under the freeway. Down on the, on the north end of town, there's McDonald's, Wendy's, Carl's Jr.'s, the Subway. I think that 
towards it, and then some food in the gas stations. On the south end of town, there's Burger King, a taco place, and Dairy Queen, and, and the Chevron down there. So that's the food on the two ends of town, but that's that's basically the end of town here. So we'll be turning around here and going back the other way. So we're headed uh, the other way, north to south. Off to the left, if you turn here at this sign with the yellow arrow and red, <clears throat> takes you to Fish Lake Lumber. And it's where we buy lumber. we go over this way right to the right here behind Ernie's is the local hospital there's a couple of local cafes along the drag here El Bambi which seems to be the more popular of them and then just a ways up the street we have another one called Arshals And then on, there are some restaurants on both ends of town. I only name fast food, but there's some other kind of eateries. Uh, the Timberline is on the south exit. That's a good place to eat. Uh, Cancun, good Mexican restaurant. So as we go down Main Street this direction, it looks a little different. Most of this stuff we already pointed out to you. I will on another video <clears throat> do the main drag up the canyon a ways. And that's off to the left, just as you get that at the church up here on the right, uh, left. You turn left up that road, uh, State Road 156, I think, no, 153. One of those goes up the canyon, and you can go all the way over the top to 89. And, when it's good weather and so we'll take a trip up that one day but mostly uh, Main Street's kind of a, a non-happening place here in Beaver like I say uh, the drive-in there's pretty good food and off here to the right with the murals on the wall Beaver Sport and Pond that's our local source for ammo and guns and fishing supplies. And we're back to the post office. I won't take you all the way back to the end of the south exit because it's all just that fields and moo cows. But it doesn't take long to do Main Street here in Beaver. There sure is a lot of good things to do around Beaver though, so that's the reason for the channel and we take you along for some of these cool places that we can go around here. But otherwise, we're going to call that a video since how we're headed back out to the south end of town. And you guys have a good day.